What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here, back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're in good health. Hope you're smelling good. I just hope everything is good on your end. Hey, man, so today we're back with another video. Today I want to bring you guys five fragrances, underrated, cheapy fragrances that I think should get more love. Granted, I feel that these may not get as much love because they're more so older fragrances. Nonetheless, still very good uh, fragrances that I think you can rock in this upcoming fall. Um, that's going to help you stand out. Um, that's going to set you apart from the crowd, but also it's going to smell good. Um, I'm not saying that these fragrances that I'm choosing to put on this video today is going to be the most complimenting fragrances. But if you are a fragrance connoisseur or somebody who likes to wear fragrance for their own enjoyment, I think a lot of these um will help that that facet um i also feel like these are also compliment pulling fragrances some of them some of them can be some of them can't you know you know how that goes it's all subjective um so as always i ain't gonna take up too much of your time but i have to give a shout out to anybody that's been um su subscribed to the house of colossus man we're almost at 300 subscribers so for me that is that's big time, you know. I started this channel maybe, ugh, I wanna say eight or nine months ago. And um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you guys that have told a friend and told another friend and told another friend and told another friend about my videos, man, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be waking up getting these videos done or, or bringing content that I think is informative to you guys. So I appreciate you guys. Much love, much love to all of you. I appreciate it. If this is your first time here on House of Colossus, what we do is we talk about men's fragrance. You know, that's discoveries, that's hauls, top tens. We just come and share our experience here, man. It's just a family, man. Like, just sharing our experiences. That's all it is. But, like I said, let's hop right into this, y'all. Starting with this first fragrance, man. Um, very, very nice fragrance, man. Seductive. There's honey, violet leaf. Um, I believe there's some tobacco in here as well. Came out in 2016. Really, really nice fragrance, man. I love the presentation on it. Kind of underrated, man. I really, really dig it. And this one comes from the house of Roberto Cavalli, y'all. And this is Roberto Cavalli Womo. Yeah, so Roberto Cavalli Womo, guys, was released in 2016. Um, what I get mostly to my nose is that violet leaf that kind of gives it like this masculine, not petro -y type of vibe, but it does bring a little oomph to the fragrance. I get a lot of honey. Um, and those are really the main players that I get. I get that violet leaf, I get that honey, I get the seductive, the sexy, alluring scent. Um, longevity on this is really good, man. I get about eight or nine hours. Um, that's on my skin, on clothes, obviously it'll last a lot longer. Um, it's pretty inexpensive, man. I believe it's under 35 bucks on some of these discounted sites, so definitely check it out. I think I've seen it on Fragrance Net as of this video for like 26 bucks. So, nonetheless, man, a really, 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 really nice scent. Um, I believe it's fall and winter approved, more so fall than winter, but a really, really nice scent. Sexy, sexy scent. That first one, guys, is Roberto Cavalli Womo. So on to the next one. This one came out in the year of 1993. That will make me one year as old. And um, I actually picked this up from recommendation from, who was it, Red Adolescence. I uh, was talking about a, a few years ago because I've had this for a while. And I was just looking for really like, I was looking for alluring, like really nice alluring rose fragrances. Something that was gonna set me apart because I wanted to jump into rose. I'm glad that I picked this one up. This one was pretty inexpensive too. When I bought it, it was probably like maybe 20 bucks, probably even less than that. This one comes from the house of Emmanuel Angaro, guys, and that is Emmanuel Angaro Pour Homme Thrace, or number three. <laughs> so yeah, man, this has rose, this has, mm. this has rose, has some freshness in, I believe there's mahogany, there's lemon. Uh, vetiver, I believe there's some musk in here as well. But mostly what I'm getting is this fresh, I'm getting some of that lemon, but I'm getting that rose. I'm getting some green, fresh musk. 
Um, it does have some depth to it that makes it a little bit allure. I'm gonna guess that's gonna come from the vetiver. Not as not as green or earth like an earthy vetiver, but like a clean a clean vetiver, but with some depth to it. So I'm really getting more so that vetiver, that rose, some some clean musk, and then some lemon. But this is a really, really nice scent, man, especially for the price point. I picked this up, as I said, maybe a few years ago for under 20 bucks. Not sure what the pricing on it is, but I will try to find that out. Yeah, man, this is really, really nice, man. Especially for it to come out in 1993 and what, we're in 2022, 2021, you know what I'm saying? So. For it to still have some punch and still, it doesn't smell outdated or anything like that. So I'm really, really digging that. Another fragrance that I think is really underrated, man. Emmanuel Angaro Thrace. So we're gonna jump over to the next one, man. This one could be kind of divisive, so I wanna let y'all know that off the jump. This may not be everybody's cup of tea, but in the fall and the winter, this is beautiful, bro. It's gonna be a very, very heavy fragrance, man. I, I could I could say that. I, I you know what, I won't say it's super, super heavy because I mean, everybody's nose is subjective. But this is a beautiful fragrance, especially for like under 30 bucks, man. Comes from the house of Lali, guys. And this is Ancre Noir. So with Ancre Noir, you get this Cypress, you get Vetiver, this inky, earthy, kind of dirty vibe but it does have some greenness to it from that veteran but it's 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 a gem bro i can't even lie to you it's actually really really nice it's gonna take some time to let your nose mature and macerate to it for you to actually feel like the quality of it or smell the quality of it, it is a really really nice scent man i'm definitely digging it definitely looking uh, forward to wearing it this upcoming fall because I think it punches. I think it's a really, really nice scent. As I said, I'm getting this earthy, vetiver, dark, cypress, woody, nice scent, man. Nonetheless, it's a nice scent. If you don't want to wear something as dark as that, there is Ancre Noir Sport, which is just a little bit more of a fresher take on the OG, which is Ancre Noir. However, you can't go wrong with that whole Ancre Noir line. I mean, the original here, Sport, and all extreme all of them punch way above their class for <laughs> close to nothing for real for man Ancre Noir check it out really really nice scent may not be for everybody though to the next one yo so I picked this bottle up from I want to say was it Ross or I think it was Marshall's I picked this up for like Maybe $12.99 it was on sale. I heard somebody talk about it. I just can't recall who it was, but man, this is really, really nice. I'm not sure when this came out, but this is uh, woody, spicy, sweet. It's kind of like in the same vein as Rojas Mustache in a bit, but I believe this is just more so like a fresher take as, as well as this being more sweeter. This one comes from the house of Hany Moray, y'all, and that is Hany Moray Him. This is nice, bro. Longevity on this is great, too. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, man, you're getting this amber. You're getting this cardamom. There's some orange in the top. Mm. I believe there's teakwood in here, too, and I, I really love teakwood. Teakwood, I was turned on by uh, when I first started collecting fragrance, and that came from Bath & Body Works. Their teakwood was, was fire. But this has teakwood, amber, there's some musk in here. I believe there's fur. Man, that's nice, bro. As I said, in this, I will place this in the same family. I won't say they're on the same, as, as far as quality, they're not the same, but in the same family as Rojas Mustache. But as I said, for this one, to me, this was more spicy, more, uh, more ambric, more sweet. But at the same time, man, it punches, especially for the price point, man. I, I know for sure that's under 30 bucks. Um, whether you get the EDT or the EDP, both of them for the most part are still the same. Um, I don't really tell too much difference to my nose, but nonetheless, a really, really nice scent for the price point, man. Definitely pick it up. If you have it, let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Man, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Hany Moray Him. And we're on to the final fragrance, man. 
I don't know why this one don't get a lot of talk. I believe probably because of some of his predecessors, people, uh, some fragrances that came before him. Before this one, this one is a really, really nice scent. It's different. Um, it has marigold, um, sandalwood. It kind of has like a like a suede vibe. Like if you like if you can like leathery suede vibe. This one comes from the house of DNG. I can't really explain it, but it's a really, really nice scent, man. I love the way it smells on my scent, on my skin. <laughs> and this one is Dolce & Gabbana Intenso. This is a nice fall fragrance, but I don't know why people sleep on it. This only came out about seven, eight years ago. But yeah, you get this sweet, woody, there's some sandalwood in here as well. Cypress is in this as well. That marigold kind of gives it like this fuzzy type of vibe to my nose. Nonetheless, tobacco is in here too. That's what that's what I wanted to say. Tobacco, but it's like a sweet pipe tobacco type of vibe. Really, really nice scent, man. Definitely, definitely slept on. And I'm definitely going to be rocking this upcoming fall because I'll be trying to give play to uh, fragrances that I have in my collection that I've been having for a while because I don't want them to, you know, feel forgotten, you know, because I did purchase it, so, you know. But, yeah, man, nonetheless, man, this is, this is, this is solid. This is, this is underrated in my opinion. I believe it's a really, really nice scent. Um, do I put it on the same category as uh, the one EDP and those guys, Mysterious Night Loom? No. But, nonetheless, it's still a really, really nice fragrance, man. That is... Wrapping out my five fra underrated fragrances, man, that I think you could definitely rock for this upcoming fall is DNG Intenso. Yeah. So that's going to do it for me, guys, man. I appreciate you guys rocking out with your boy. Um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about my videos. Until we meet again, much love, man. If you have any of these down, if, if you have any of these fragrances, man, down in the comments, let me know. Man, much love to you. My name is Jeremy. You tune into the House of Colossus. Until we meet again. Peace.